Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video is a follow up from the previous one on bile acids. Today we're going to be looking at bile salts. So what are bile salts? Basically they are bile acids which are conjugated or joined with either a molecule of glycine or taurine. Now the bile acids are conjugated to these molecules before they leave the liver. And they are conjugated via a bond between the carboxyl group of the bile acid and an amino group of glycine and taurine. Glycine and taurine are both amino acids and they'll possess an amino group and this is what this is where the bond is between the carboxyl group of the bile acid and the amino group of the glycine and taurine. So this is how they get conjugated. So when you add a bile acid to glycine, you can either have a glycocholic acid or glycokinodeoxycholic acid and if it's taurine which is being added you can uh, you can either get taurocholic or taurokinodeoxycholic acids and the ratio of the glycine taurine forms of these bile acids are 3 to 1 so there's more of these um, bile salts as opposed to these bile salts so there's more glycine based bile salts than taurine based uh, bile salts so when glycine or taurine is added to bile salts, it reduces the pKa of the carboxyl group in the case of glycine or the sulfonate group in the case of taurine, which are both fully ionized then, uh, which is another way of saying very negatively charged, at a physiological pH. So therefore, because it's more negatively charged and fully ionized in terms of pKa, the bile salts are more effective detergents than bile acids because they have a more enhanced amphipathic function because uh, they're more negatively charged. So therefore, uh, it's mainly the conjugated forms of bile acids, so bile salts basically, which are found in bile. So there's mainly bile salts found in bile, not bile acids. and just the final point we're going to make is the bile salts provide the only significant mechanism for cholesterol excretion. So cholesterol is used to form bile acids and eventually bile salts and bile salts in bile solubilize cholesterol in the small intestine. So these are the ways that cholesterol can be excreted and it's all due to bile salts. That's everything we're going to discuss today on bile salts. I hope this video has been useful and thanks very much for watching.